Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we are back with a, another pumpkin recipe, but it's our own recipe. Um, so yeah, we are doing roasted pumpkin and veg casserole. That's what we've got. I've got all the ingredients set up already. Yep. Um, so I'll just run through it and then I'll leave everything that we've done in the description below, all the ingredients. The write-up might be really short because basically you just literally throw it all together in a pan, shove it in the oven for an hour yeah. to cook. <laughs> so it's that simple. So I thought I'd do a nice, quick, easy video. Um, was was going to do it yesterday, but we had a busy day yesterday, didn't we? Yes. We were doing things in the house, swapping things around and stuff. But yeah, I've also got on... This is just cooked down. That's for family. That's um, going to be scones. My mum's like, I don't know what it is. That's roasted pumpkin for scones. Um, so yeah, let's just crack right on with the video today. You'll need one of these, a roasting tin. So yeah, let's crack on. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I hold the camera? Okay. Mum is in it. She will be camera lady. Um, and then also... I don't know what I'm taking pictures of or where I'm going, what we're doing. Um, also, Mum will, I will make her do a cooking video. Will you? Yeah. It's they, they like you doing videos. <sighs> so, let's go through the ingredients down here. Right, we have carrots, broccoli, um, cauliflower, leeks, sweet peppers, onions, red and white, they're half each, Pe uh, peas, sweet corn. <clears throat> Got red and yellow peppers by the yeah. looks of it. Yeah. Red and yellow peppers. Um, <clears throat> over here, got your pumpkin. Pumpkin. We got potatoes. We got courgette and eggplant. Yeah, this is because it's been frozen. Yeah, it is frozen. This week, um, put in the freezer, so. Um, this is frozen all of this um, it doesn't matter because it's going to be roasted well, anyway our potatoes <clears throat> aren't no the potatoes aren't this is frozen um, and the carrots aren't frozen obviously in order to the onions <laughs> but I believe frozen veg is actually more better for you um, some people won't probably agree but if you listen to Gordon Ramsay and all them they go with frozen veg because it locks in all the nutrients it's fresh frozen. Um, yeah, it just locks in all the nutrients, basically, and all the goodness. And obviously, if you've got it fresh, and you're not going to yeah, use, use it, it. Yeah, freeze it. Freeze it. This is what it saves it. This little leak was fresh. I froze it. It's locked all in the nutrients. But let's get back to this. So here we have um, parsley and basil. You have two vegetable stock cubes, two garlic cloves. We have some curry powder. We have your bog standard Aldi's plum tomatoes. Other brands are available. It's just the shop we was in at the time. <laughs> Lee's Perry's Worcestershire sauce. And olive oil. We have under this, if you can see, Greek yogurt. Um, we also have lemon and lime juice. And we have mint. I will leave all the ingredients and whatever it is, blah, 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 what it is in the description yeah, the mint below. It does look dark, but yeah. was that what I dehydrated? Yeah, yeah straight yeah. out of the garden dehydrated. Yeah, nearly lost it. So, so that <clears> is <throat> just because it came straight from my garden, garden and was dehydrated. What we do here is literally it's this you chop it all up, lob it in a bowl, bam. Would have kept the colour, but I probably dehydrated it on that with something else, yeah. so it was a higher. Then you just chop them up. Got on that squiggly bit in there. There you go, just give it up. I've got clean hands, by the way. And you just mix it all together. That is how simple and quick it is. And then we go straight over here, we get the rest. Pumpkin. In. 
if you don't like that much pumpkin, you can always take some out. But it's actually, believe it or not, it looks a lot for this pan, you're probably thinking. But the potatoes and the pumpkin actually go down to nothing. Believe it or not. Oh, we're losing it. Don't worry, the sides are clean. And then you go in with all this. The eggplant, courgette and your potatoes. Jeez, that is quite big, isn't it? <laughs> Gee, that is quite big, yeah. Ooh. Right, bad boy error. Up here, I'm up here. I'm up here, little bit. Bad boy error. We take some out <laughs> and we do a smaller pot. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking at first, yeah, and uh, I've done this recipe so many times, not on camera. I was like, oh, that looks good. That's because you're being a pig today. No, because this is actually going to family where we're going today. Yeah. <laughs> so you wanted to make sure there was enough? Well, I've done it before, haven't I, this recipe? Yeah. Because it's ours. Um, and I just thought, when I've done it before, it was like I've had it up to the top. And I was like, oh, that's all right. Obviously, I've done a bit too much. I'll do a bit more. Yeah. But not there's a problem. I can just roast that off in a separate one. That's all. Oh, you big roasting tish, but... Mm. Yeah, could do, but I don't want to make everything messy. <laughs> Pick that potato up, throw that in a bit. Just quickly come wash my hands. It's so good. Looking good. And then for the next part is... Make sure you've got dry hands for this bit. You're going to get your cubes. Oh, come on. You can use probably another. And you're just going to shrink it all over. you want to use. Yeah, these recipes are just, um, you just basically use what you got. <laughs> yeah. It's about making recipes your own. Yeah, we just um, uh, bung it in an oak. Me. Basically, yeah, that's how that's how I come across this recipe. <laughs> I was just messing around, and I was like, Do you know what? I'm just going to throw all this together, hope for the best, and it actually turned out all right. All right, that's your cubes in. Now you're going to add in your parsley and your um, basil. Shrink in like that. Wash my hands again. You could actually just mix all the herbs together. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Just one of them where hey, just throw it all together. Literally. <laughs> and then. Just gonna peel my garlic. Cause chef's not ready. Nope. This chef's never ready. That's why it's called crazy bake. Yeah. Cause you're never quite sure what's gonna happen, or someone's gonna knock on the door, or. We was literally just enjoying Sunday life, <laughs> and then was like, right, I'm gonna do a recipe. Right, bam, straight into it. We don't really plan for recipes, do we? We just, if we thought, just get up and do them. Yeah. Get my nice Japanese knife. Sharp, do not chop your fingers off. Sure. I've cut myself a few times on these. <laughs> yeah, that it? Um... Nice. And you just literally spread it around the best you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, chuck it in. It's just chopping up the other one. Yeah. Just uh, as you can 
say, where's a bit of garlic? Yeah, it's just, it'll mix around. I have got a garlic press thing, you know. No, you've got to be able to taste it. And I've got that um, little grater as well, but... Yep. Good old is. knife. Yep. <laughs> wow, these gadgets are usually enough. Oh. Garlic and the sore finger, don't they? And no. then <laughs> sprinkle your curry powder over. You will mix all this together, by the way. To make sure you coat everything, but it's literally just a one pot basically. Is it? There's no, um, we're going with there's no measurements on this, you just dash it in. Dash it, like most chefs and cooks don't do measurements, especially well. We try to for videos. Well, cause... we try to, yeah, if you want to be nice, but um. Oh, there you go. We have got a pourer thing on the end of that bottle. Yeah, it has got a little um, pourer ender. Um, we try to measure them, but like when it comes to cooking scones and that, I'm such an expert. I don't need to measure them. <laughs> He's a big head. Ugh. Sorry, guys, I just don't need my tin. Uh. Oh, there with the old one. I have actually got an electric one that I took yeah. it myself to. If, if you pan over there past all the rubbish, <laughs> yeah, um, there is, yeah. Um, just going to use a saucepan. It's not rubbish over there, it's just. Rub that we need. Flowers and stuff that I, I bought for somebody's birthday. Um, well, yeah, I mean, past all this, look. Look, if you come over here quickly, look. Yeah, look. Here's one of these. It's been used once, but better to use a hand. Pumpkin seeds soaking there. It's, um, oh, they get dizzy. <laughs> it's, it's better to use a um, hand one. Right, I'm just chopping up the plum tomatoes because you don't want massive chunks of tomatoes. You want as much sauce as you can. I mean, you could always probably buy top tomatoes, but yeah, you do tend to get more of the tomato juices yeah. and and the plum ones, I think. You do get a lot more juice in the plum ones, and that's what we want. Then you can do whatever size you want. I think yeah. he's now killing them. Oh, he just like likes making a noise. noise. And then, literally straight over the top of all that. Well, probably don't look nice, but you wait. Till this bad boy. It does, it does actually, even on here. It, it. Get one of these. Any spoon. Yeah, any spoon. Anything you could do. And basically, you're going to mix it all together. Because you want it to roast. And then, what you do is, after... Because it all, with this will all thicken up. It add juice because of the frozen um, veg. You can um, always add a little bit of boiling water to get more juice, basically. More of the delicious flavoured gravy. This is going to go in the oven, by the way, for about an hour. Um, until you're basically until your potatoes are soft and everything is soft you want to make sure it's all coated you are not going to be disappointed trust me we should try it in the air fryer <laughs> yeah everyone's on that craze at the minute yeah that's why i ain't on it yeah, we're, we're, we're a bit of a channel where people copy us no <laughs> Well, we've had an air fry for God knows how long. Yeah. <laughs> we actually use it every day. Well, most every day. Yeah, yeah sometimes. The, the deep fat fryer's out of action nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> that's lobbed in the cupboard. <laughs> right, so that's literally going to go on. Um, gas mark six. Uh, gas mark six.
Gas Mark 6 for about an hour. Um, Gas Mark 6 is... Four hundred. Yeah, just looking at the board, it tells you it's brilliant. Gas Mark 6, 400 Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius. There you go. Did they get that? Did they? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Gas Mark 6, 400 Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're sarcastic. I'm going to make sure the oven comes on. In the gas. That goes and that goes. Bye bye. Bye bye. In there to cook beautifully for an hour. You can add salt and pepper, but I've tried it. No. There you go. We will see you guys in an hour. Well, until I get the one that we've done in the up in the fridge. Up. Okay. <laughs> see you in a bit. Right, guys. So it's been an hour now, and um, here it is down here. All out of the oven. As, um, as it's come out, I've added a little bit of water to it just to give it a nice little bit of that juice. Because this is roasted vegetable and pumpkin casserole. So I don't want too much juice. And then just give it a stir in, and that is what you want. Now you can also, this is what we done yesterday. It is a slightly darker, but this is with beef vegetable stock so that's veg that's that's vegetable and Very this colourful. this is beef so it's a lot more darker but it's exactly the same yep um now you can i've got some over here cooling down to try um i've done it with rice this has got rice on it um or you could have it with which i've done here this is it. well because I'm doing meals to prep. Um, egg noodles, which is another good thing to have with it. Nice quick recipe. It does seem like we've done a lot, but a lot of it we do prep um, as well. Mm. Um, yeah, we do a lot of prepping, canning. You could freeze that, refreeze yeah. that, um, and it just make a quick and easier meal. Uh, I did try. Oh yeah, I'll grab that one as well. Doing a little bit of it in the air fryer, <laughs> just to see, because we had a bit of spare. This is the one from the air fryer. Uh, see, it's exactly the same ingredients in there. A bit of tomato and everything. And it's actually really nice. Obviously, a lot smaller. Portion yeah. and that was on for it's a lot smaller, about but what was it 20 half an hour mm. in the air fryer? Mm. That is nice. I'm actually going to eat that myself. <laughs> He's eating that one, <laughs> yeah. And that one's to go down to what's in my sister's today, but yeah, even with rice. Now, my mum ain't going to try this, but even with rice, it makes such a nice. Mmm. It's such a nice, healthy food as well. Most people go to pumpkin. Ugh, I'm not eating that. It's pumpkin. It looks horrible. But no. Until you taste it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's nice. Same as this. This is pumpkin scones that I'm taking with us today. Even my sister said I would never have ate pumpkin before. Until trying the scones... And it's changed her look on the pumpkin. Pumpkin is a waste, same as squashes, it's a wasted vegetable. Actually fruit, should I say, because it grows seeds and it grows from a plant, from a flower. It's actually a fruit, not a vegetable. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> it's just so delicious. So much you can do with it. Um, I've only got... Mm, it's going back in for another <laughs> bit. <laughs> we have got some pureed... Um, down in the fridge for my mum's got a recipe of pumpkin soup well that's what she said in the <laughs> chat, she's looking at me like what like, yes that's what she's got and the oh, I've got so many recipes I want we to had try so out, many but... didn't we but we just we we said that we were going to do them mm. 
we throw some of it for a later date because we really don't want to bore you because I want to start doing Christmas videos because Christmas is around the corner. Yes. Um, so that'll probably be one more of the soup and then that'll be enough for the pumpkin. The rest, someone else come and, that we had that we collected, someone else come and got to do cakes and soups and whatever they want to do with them. Um, so yeah, what well, I'm going to go back down here. Yeah. And I'm going to show you a little dressing that you can do for the top, which is nice. So it's Greek yogurt, um, mint. In there. This is a little yogurt pot that had yogurt in it. I'm Obviously, using. my mint is darker. Yep. Um, it's fresh straight out the garden. Because it's been and to eye day. Lemon and lime juice. Straight in. This is another nice little bit you can put on the top. But it, uh, it should have been done on a lower temperature, but I just had other things in there at the time. Yeah. But it's still edible. Yeah, and then what you do is just like a little, nice little dressing over the top. And it's just... And it's probably nat more natural than whatever they put in the jars. Mm. When we make this off, res off camera, I eat so much of it. <laughs> it's so delicious, honestly. Give it a go. If you can get yourself pumpkins or squashes from anyone that's got any, or buy a squash, butternut squash, give it a go. Butternut squash will work with this as well, um, because they're from the same family. Yeah, just give it a go. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's it for today. Let's bring my mum back in. Camera one. Let's bring my mum back in. So yeah, so now that's done, I've got to upload this and cook. <laughs> In the next half hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, if you enjoyed that, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. Mm, got mint on my teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, do all that, and thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, and yeah, yeah. Did it actually taste different though from the air fryer? Yeah, it did taste slightly different air fried to that. More roasted. Yeah, it's more roastified in there. Even though that was roasted in the oven. Yeah, but that's got, I added water to it. I haven't added yeah. water to that yet, but yeah. Yeah, give it a go. There you go. Um, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.